All right, folks. Welcome to the radio show here. Today we're going to talk about something called complex amplitude modulation. This is something uh, that we can do thanks to IQ modulation. And today we're going to show you how to do it. All right, a little background. So if you're an amateur radio operator, you probably already know this. But those of you that are not, here's a quick review. So we got the 80 meter ham radio band. 80 meter stands for the wavelength. And some common frequencies that these ham radio operators can operate AMN is at uh, 3875 kilohertz or maybe 3885 kilohertz. Well, what I want to do today is how can we make two AM radio signals transmit at the same time. And that's what we're going to do today. And we're going to get into the IQ math and send this to our uh, vector signal generator. And I want to show you how we can generate two amplitude modulated signals at different frequencies at the same time. All right. So again, we need to really understand what we want. Again, we want to put a signal at 38 75 kilohertz and we put another AM signal at 3885. Well between them is 3880 right so the what you have to think of is this is the RF spectrum well how do we describe that in uh, what's called baseband spectrum and this would be one approach that you would do that. Uh, 3880 would be 0 or DC and then the 75 guy would be a minus 5 kilohertz and the 3885 would be a plus 5 kilohertz away from DC. So this spectrum up here describes the RF spectrum and this spectrum down here describes the what's called the IQ uh, baseband spectrum. Alright, hopefully you guys are getting that. If not, no big deal. All right, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to make this uh, IQ baseband spectrum uh, in, PC, in a PC, make an audio wave file. We're going to send the audio wave file out to our vector SIGGEN, and we're going to set the vector SIGGEN center frequency to be 3880 kilohertz. And hopefully you guys see that that's the baseband this is how it comes out in the RF world. So this is the center frequency that we tune our vector SIGGEN to. And then this is the baseband file that's streaming into this uh, vector signal generator. Pretty cool. How did I make that wave file? Well, here's the math. Here's the uh, IQ equation, right? The IQ equation in terms of time. It's uh, A1 multiplied by e to the negative j omega 0 t plus A2 e to the positive j omega 0 t. And in our case, we'll make omega 0 equal to 2 pi times 5,000 for 5 kilohertz. And these A1 and A2 terms are these guys here. This is how you encode uh, amplitude modulation. And so the, this is M1, that's the first message. M2 is the second message. And this little mu here is what's called the percentage of modulation. Now I'm going to set it pretty high, 120%. So I'll give the audio a nice, loud uh, volume. And it will be very, very easy to hear. All right. Let's go see what it sounds like. Do is you get your coin and you match it all up. 
that corn up in some water, and you collect that steam, and ooh, you get some sweet old alcohol. Now don't drink too much now, or you might get a little bit tipsy. <laughs> This is West Virginia Bob Radio. Have a good day. Broadcasting on 3885 kilohertz. This is West Virginia Bob Radio. Everybody out there on 3885 kilohertz, broadcasting at 5,000 watts, this is West Virginia Bob Radio. <laughs> Drinking my moonshine and putting 5,000 watts on a dipole antenna, 100 feet in the air covering the East Coast of America. <laughs> 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 